Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory Season 4. So guys, in the last episode we found out that Priya and Leonard gonna go and meet Priya's parents, so I'm not sure if it's like confirmed because I think they said like, ooh, maybe we're gonna go, hopefully, you know, it will happen. So we'll see if they're actually gonna go. Also in the last episodes we could see that Penny no matter how she's like avoiding it, like I don't care what's happening with Leonard, I don't care if he's with Priya. She she clearly does. Like you can see that she's thinking about Leonard, but maybe she just doesn't want to talk about it. But she clearly has feelings for Leonard and she just doesn't want to admit it, I guess. I don't know, but maybe at some point she's just gonna like break down, if you know what I mean. So she's just gonna at least talk to the girls and be like, actually. You know, I think I like Leonard and I'm gonna try and win him back. But who knows? Maybe she just gonna, you know, wish Leonard happiness <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we have to find out. So let's talk in, guys. Let's get started. Ah, uh, that's my water. What? My water. You're drinking it. D dear Lord. <laughs> have you been drinking it? Yes, it's my water. Well, that's it then. <laughs> I'm dead. Do I really need to connect the dots for you? The backwash into this glass is every pathogen that calls your mouth home sweet home. Not to mention the visitors who arrive on the dancing tongue of your subtropical girlfriend. Oh my god. Hey, that's my sister and my country you're talking about. Then it may have defiled one, but I won't have you talking smack about the other. <laughs> but he's not he's sick. Right. He's yeah, alright, like so he'll be alright. Understand. He drank from Leonard's glass. He drank from Leonard's glass. Words they'll be carving into my tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually my napkin. Oh, this is a nightmare! <laughs> Where are you going? To the bar to sterilize my mouth with alcohol. <laughs> Gangway, dead man walking! <laughs> oh, no! One iced tea and a root beer for Priya. Is it diet? That's what you ordered. <laughs> is it not? Thank you. Hey, have you and Howard started planning your wedding yet? Yeah, we're thinking of having it on a cliff overlooking the ocean. Mm. Nothing soothes those pre-wedding jitters like the thought of falling and drowning. <laughs> <laughs> what did your mother say when you told her you were getting married? He hasn't told her yet. He's waiting for the right time. I was thinking of weaving it into her eulogy. Howard, you've got to tell your mother. Hey, have you told your parents you're dating this short glass of skim milk here? <laughs> That's different. Uno. First of all, we're not engaged. And second, Indian parents are very protective of their children. Right, right. Whereas Jewish mothers take a casual la-di-da approach to their sons. Oh my god, what if Leonard gonna propose to Priya? I gargled with tequila and may have swallowed it. That would be juicy. Alright? Fine. Thank you for asking. I love you so much. <laughs> it's the alcohol talk. It's the alcohol talk. Water nymph. Oh yeah, she's got puddles in all the right places. <laughs> Could you please play the game without commenting on every card? Sorry. It's his Walking personality. <laughs> Last one. I'm taking a stroll and I'm sporting wood. Bernadette and my mother are having a get to know you lunch at the Old Town Deli. Oh, that sounds lovely. I hope so. Have you met Bernadette's parents? You mean Adolf and Ava? <laughs> Not yet. One goose step at a time. Sheldon, that's my water. Oh my god! <laughs> it's not your day, Sheldon. It's not your water. I know. <laughs> Where's the mouthwash? Oh, I, he the... prepared everything. Oh my god. So, how'd it go? Too soon to say, I'm not done yet. <laughs> no, I mean lunch today with Bernadette. Which she had eggplant lasagna. Like that's what a eggplant lasagna. <laughs> so cute. But besides food, did you get along? Did you talk? Oh, sure. Did you know she's going to school to become a microbiologist? <laughs> she really no, is. She never mentioned it. Do you like her? She's great, huh? She's a lovely girl. Cute as a button. <laughs> that's good to hear, because I've got some news. I hope it's good news, because I've got nothing but disappointment in here. <laughs> we don't want to know that. 
Bernadette and I are getting married. Ooh, the silence. Ma? Oh my gosh, Ma. What? Stand back, I'm gonna break the door down. Oh no. Ooh. Well, she didn't take the news well then. Son of a bitch, Ma! <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? Other than waiting out the exponential growth period of the virulent organisms trooping through my microvilli into my circulatory system, hunky dory. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What? <laughs> Did I say something amusing? Ever since Leonard's been dating Raj's sister, I've had to keep my distance. I don't get to hear all your jibber jabber. Jibber jabber. <laughs> jibber jabber. Oh, jibber jabber. Interesting. Do you know where the phrase jibber jabber comes from? Oh my god, you're about to jibber jabber about jibber jabber. <laughs> That's what Sheldon does. Uh, Howard and his mother are at the hospital. Come on, we gotta go. Oh my oh. god. What oh my god. I don't know, I just got a text. Come on, hurry. Okay. Oh, wait, you're Sheldon, not going. So you better run. To a hospital? Full of sick people? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, well, your friend and his mother are there. We're going. I can't. Oh, don't tell no. me you're afraid of germs. Not all germs. Oh, is it something happened at the hospital? Kill me. Uh, fine, I'll tell Howard you didn't come because you're more concerned about your own well-being than his. I would think he would know that. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, okay, that's, you know what? You that's true. You buy all these superhero t-shirts, but when it's time for you to step up and do the right thing, you just hide in the laundry room. Fine, I'll go. Just for the record, my Aunt Ruth died in a hospital. Aww. Went in to visit my Uncle Roger, caught something, and bit the dust a week later. I'm sure you'll be all right. So I knocked down the bathroom door, picked up my poor unconscious mother, carried her to the car, and drove like a madman to the emergency room. Hang on a second. You picked up your mother? <laughs> her own legs are barely able to do that. <laughs> Wow, that was adrenaline. Was filled with adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, it exactly. To be how women lift cars <laughs> off babies. Yeah, I'm saying it'd be easier to lift a car. What can I tell well, you? Well, he After saved I her, so it's all good. Her pants back on, I was unstoppable. <laughs> as long as she's gonna so be okay now. She? They're running tests. I don't know. It may have been a heart attack or heart attack-like event. What's the difference? No, heart attack-like event is an event that's like a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> We Thanks gotta show them. That up. Regardless, coronary problems are imminently treatable. What's more likely going to kill Howard's mother are the antibiotic resistance. Oh, stop, Sheldon. Cranny of this hospital. No one's gonna Wait, die today. Happy. Is there a history of heart disease in your family? My family is the history of heart disease. <laughs> oh, no. There's a cave painting in France of one of my ancestors doing this. So it's probably genetic. Well, maybe. Mom also had just gotten some news that might have upset her. <clears throat> what? It's not important. Oh, no. Howard, I'm going to be your wife. You could share anything with me. Oh, you'd think that, but it, no. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You told her we were going to get married and she had a heart attack? Okay, you can't take that personally. <laughs> yeah, uh, she will, How she will. supposed to take it? Yeah. What you've got to keep in mind is that... Ever since my dad left, I've been the whole world to my mother. I mean, she'd be threatened by any woman who can give me what she can't. You mean sexual intercourse? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say it like that, you make it sound creepy. It is creepy. Howard's mother had a heart attack because I have sex with him and she can't. <laughs> I'll give you a thousand dollars if you'll drive me home. <laughs> no one's gonna do that, nice Sheldon. Nice to come for Howard. Well, he's my friend. It's what you do. <laughs> you I'm good? Sorry, did I miss something? It's just so weird. Howard Wallowitz is my friend. You know this stuff is horrible. You want to see if we can find the cafeteria and get real coffee? Sure. We're going to the cafeteria to get some coffee. You want anything? Uh, I'm fine. It's Ooh, nice look, that they're getting along. Yeah, it looks like they're getting along. Your ex-girlfriend and hanging out together? Well, yeah. That can only be good for you. <laughs> I don't care. I don't have anything to hide. Good. Good. Then you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> no, I do not. You are a mean little man. <laughs> <laughs>
I got rushes on fire recently. Me, they love me a great deal. So good. <laughs> How can we be together if the thought of us getting married might kill your mother? What? It's the circle of life, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> One day our son will marry someone and it will kill you. <laughs> That's not Helen, sound good. I have to go to Sheldon. My mother is on her deathbed, and my fiance is grief stricken over putting her there. I'm not taking you home. <laughs> Hold the door. Yay! <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Mr. Wallowitz? No, okay? please tell me it the good news. Attack. She's awake, she's resting comfortably. We're still running a few tests. Can I see her? That's good. Well, actually, she said, and I quote, She'd like to see the little Catholic girl first. Ooh. Hey, you wish me luck. Okay, don't worry, you'll be fine. Let's I feel like it's gonna be something cross. good. <laughs> if it touches her, it burns. So. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> well, he's been standing there the whole time. Oh no. <gasps> That's it, Sheldon. That's it, Sheldon. You screwed. Oh, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> you can't leave here. You've been exposed. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, oh God, it's mothers. hilarious. Mother's mom wouldn't give him any sort of approval growing up. No, the full thing it makes him desperate to please women. That's why the foreplay goes on and on. <laughs> I know they're gonna lock him in the hospital. Oh no! Couple of things I did with Penny that might be a little silly. Like what? <laughs> He's worried about it. Every once in a while, before we go to bed, I'd, I'd put on a little show for her. So you do a striptease? Well, I wasn't swinging around a pole. Good, good. There was one time I put body glitter on. <laughs> well, I don't think you have to worry about Penny telling my sister that. No, she wouldn't. The big problem is me telling her. <laughs> yeah, why are you exposing yourself to Raz? You really are a mean little man. Hey, how'd it go? You're a putz! <laughs> you know what that means? Yeah, do you? Your mother just taught it to me. She thinks she got food poisoning from that deli and she just wanted to make sure I was okay. Oh. Are you? No, because I'm engaged to a putz! You let me believe I was the reason she had a heart attack. Well, uh, based on the available... Shut up! <laughs> she said I'm a wonderful girl and that you're lucky to have me. Where are you going? That's Let's good. Go anyway. Is that okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> you tell him, girl. You tell him, girl. Is it just me or does she sound sexy when she's angry? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> she sounded like his mom. <laughs> Man, hellhounds. Hellhounds, who let the satanic dogs out? Who, who, who? Sorry, I'm just trying to cheer my buddy up. <laughs> Rotting zombie. Sheldon's new Facebook photo. <laughs> my God, rush, literally. Amazing. She skipped the part about being under a two-week quarantine because you were exposed to a deadly disease. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Hey, you guys ready to order? Uh, sure. Okay, Priya, uh, I'll have the shepherd's pie. You want to split that with me? Oh, no, 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 he doesn't. Well, you know, milk in the taters, milk in the gravy, Parmesan crust. Your lactose intolerant boyfriend will turn into a gas filled Macy's Day balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite accurate. The Macy's balloons are filled with helium, whereas Leonard produces copious amounts of methane. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm the shepherd's pie. Sheldon didn't even well, understand yeah, that he made a joke. You gotta like this. I mean, the girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend bonding over your rooty tooty stinky booty. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. It wouldn't help. The human body is capable of being flatulent for hours after death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sweet little Sheldon. Sorry I'm late. I have amazing news. The thesis committee accepted my doctoral dissertation. I'm getting my PhD. Oh, <gasps> oh, wow, so that means you're a doctor, you're a doctor, you're a doctor, you're a doctor, and Howard, you know a lot of doctors. <laughs> <laughs> now we move to Howard. Congratulations, honey. Thank you.
So, Howard, tell us, how's it feel knowing that when you two get married, you'll be referred to as Mr. and Dr. Wallowitz? <laughs> this isn't about me. I'm proud of you. Well, you'll really be proud of it. That's so I mean, good. I'm by a big pharmaceutical company. They're going to pay me a buttload of money. What? <laughs> it's That's also great. good. Howard, do you make a buttload? Better than what you got a buttload of. <laughs> Ice, baby. <laughs> ice, nice. Ice, baby. Oh God, I feel ridiculous in this dress. You look beautiful, Lieutenant O'Hara. Ooh. Now prepare for inspection. I would go away, Raj. Why would you stay in an apartment? <laughs> I can't believe I'm wearing my brother's Halloween costume. Oh no. I can't believe you think he only wears it on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Open the landing bay doors, shuttlecraft approaching. Okay, gotta go. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You should have left sooner. Oh, this one's gonna scream. Hey, what's up? Oh, what? Is that my future daughter in law, the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, my, it's right. <laughs> Even his mom was like Sheldon, on the same yes, joke boat. Well, whose fault is that? Can Howard apply for what's that? PhD? No. Let us putting disgusting memories in my memory foam mattress. <laughs> Can I stay here tonight? Uh, well, sure, but I'm going out with Bernadette. It'll just be you and my mother. I guess that's okay. Ma, can Roger sleep over? Oh no. <laughs> uh, she's kidding, right? I don't know. She's pretty feisty since they put her on hormone replacement therapy. I was very impressed to see that Bernadette got her PhD. It's indeed admirable, although it is microbiology. <laughs> Your doctorate is in neurobiology. I fail to see the distinction. I'll make it simple for you. I study the brain, the organ responsible for Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Bernadette studies yeast, the organism responsible for Michelob light. <laughs> is there something wrong with your neck? Have you considered massage? I'd like to respond to that sarcastically. Yes, I relish the thought of a stranger covering my body with oil and rubbing it. <laughs> I was proposing it's you massage your muscles with your own hand. <laughs> with your right hand, locate the spot where the scapula meets the acromion process. All right. Now push your third finger along the ridge of the shoulder blade, making a small rotation as you do so. Now bear down on it like the seventh grade noogies we all know too well. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Amy, I've never been touched like this before. Oh, oh my hands are magic. Don't flatter yourself. Your hands are blunt tools guided by my knowledge of the nervous system. I could just as easily have paralyzed you. <laughs> I hope she's never going to do that. At my door. That doesn't interest me. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, Amy's here for the business. Can I sleep here tonight? Why? Lennon's having astronomically inaccurate Star Trek sex with my sister. I'll get the sheets and blankets for the couch. Uh, don't bother. I'll just sleep in Lennon's room. No, I can't authorize that. Oh, he's in my bed. Why can't I be in his? The <laughs> That's a good Robert point. Code is an eye for an eye, not a bed for a bed. All right. This is a form indemnifying me from your use of Leonard's bedroom. <laughs> Sign here indicating that I tried to stop you and did so using a stern facial expression. <laughs> good night, children. Hey, wait, not yet. We still have to go over safety procedures. Now, the apartment has three emergency exits located here, here, and here. <laughs> In the event of a power outage, luminous paint will guide you to the nearest exit. You're kidding. He actually has it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sick. I never kid about safety. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was sleeping. In my bed? Well, I would have slept in my own bed, but it's being used to bring shame to my family. <laughs> Sorry. But Sheldon, no, you're sleeping in here. Are you kidding? He made me sign a waiver, participate in an emergency fire drill, and take a refresher course in CPR. <laughs> Thank God he had a dummy. You know she used to date Howard? 
Oh, oh my God, she's that Mona? Oh no, that's no. Why can't you and my sister spend your nights here? We tried. She doesn't get along with Sheldon. Sheldon doesn't get along with Sheldon. <laughs> Okay, well, well, how about this? Until Priya gets her own place, you stay here and I'll stay at your apartment. Can I bring girls here? <laughs> you can you? try. Sure, bring as many as you want. <laughs> Just not against their will. <laughs> Good news, Raj. I got the blood work back from the lab. You're okay to stay for a while. <laughs> okay, we he had to run some blood. tests. Not important. While you were asleep, probably. Your sugar was a little high. I'd follow up with your regular physician. In the meantime, I have some paperwork here for you to go over. This says you can make end-of-life decisions for me. <laughs> As your friend, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Please sign. Did you sign this? There's a reciprocity clause. You get to pull the plug on him, too. <laughs> Well, that seems fair. Uh, congratulations and welcome temporarily aboard. Here's your ID card. Oh, the uh, apartment flag. That's so cute. Which Leonard was too cool to wear. Oh, word. That looks FYI, cute. Part of your responsibilities as roommate pro tem will be to drive me to and from work, the comic book store, the barber shop, and the park for one hour every other Sunday for fresh air. Oh, my God. I bet also, Leonard is so happy that he's like out of this apartment. He's like, food. yay. You'll I can leave my free order life. No backsies. <laughs> Maybe Rafford will regret it now. Because it's Shut too much. Dinner. Ooh, that's fancy. Remarkable. I'm just realizing how much Leonard's been skating by all these years. <laughs> it's not a big thing. Just think of me as a brown Martha Stewart. Hey, Sheldon, did you change your Wi-Fi password again? Yes, it's Penny. Get your own Wi-Fi, no spaces. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, it's with the fancy spread. My new roommate is bending over backwards to ingratiate himself to me. Uh, nice touch, by the way. <laughs> See, that looks cute. What do you mean, new roommate? What happened to Leonard? I'm the new homo in town. <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong. Let me try this again. Where's Leonard? He's living at my place, so I'm living here. Do you know what kind of research you'll be doing at this pharmaceutical company? Well, there are a couple of opportunities available, but I volunteered for the premature ejaculation project. I mean, it's not like either one of us has heart disease. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I got you a little present. Oh, Bernie. No, you didn't have to. Right. Oh, the box already yeah, looking fancy. You bought me a Rolex? Ooh, that's too How fancy. How much this cost? Oh, you let me worry about the money. Uh, I just want my baby to have pretty things. I feel like Howard's not gonna be happy with it. Man is not the only species that ferments fruit in order to become intoxicated. Can you guess what the other is? A hint, sometimes they pack the alcohol in their trunks. Monkeys. <laughs> Good guess. When does a monkey have a trunk? When a suitcase just won't do. <laughs> Please note, it is now past 10 p.m. Per our roommate agreement, kindly refrain from raucous laughter, clinking of glasses, and celebratory gunfire. <laughs> you watch Leonard put up with that guy for years and years. What has to break inside your brain for you to think, Oh, Krishna, I've got to get me some of that. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. I screwed up. Leonard's a <gasps> great guy. Never See? broken up with him. That's what I said. That's what I said. Well, that she's gonna spill the tea to someone. It's better to have loved and lost than to stay home every night and download increasingly shameful pornography. <laughs> you poor baby. What's wrong with me, Penny? Nothing, nothing. You know, if we weren't friends, and you hadn't brought up that creepy pornography story. I'd be on you like the speed of light squared on matter to make energy. Hey, you totally got that right. E equals MC squared. I listen. I have no idea what it means, but I listen. Oh my God. Do I friendship. feel like... Do friendship. <laughs> Would you boo down? Please stop that infernal... <laughs> they get in too close to each other. That's my parents on video chat. 
Go hide in the bedroom. Oh, come on. Why don't we just tell them that we're dating? Oh, we've been through this. It's not the time. When is the time? Yeah. I've got five Soon. brothers and sisters. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Daddy. We heard there was a tornado in Kansas City. Is that close to you? <laughs> no. Where is your brother? Oh, out with friends. I don't like it. A young girl alone in an apartment? I'll sleep so much better when you move back here next month. You're moving back to India? Who's uh -oh. that? Oh, my God. There's someone in your apartment. Call the police in America. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh, Leonard! Hello, Leonard! What a pleasant surprise! Should... No, we, we can discuss it after! Rajesh's friend, Leonard? I thought you said Rajesh was out with his friends. Oh, he has many friends. Rajesh has many friends? <laughs> Why are you lying to us? She's lying because she doesn't want you to know we're dating. Leonard! Well, what difference does it make? If you're moving back to India, we're obviously breaking up. I don't want to deal with this right now. Yeah, well... <laughs> That's not looking good. <laughs> that is a beautiful tapestry. <laughs> oh no, so this is it? Leonard and Priya over? No! No! I called it! I called it! Oh my god! Oh my god! God. <laughs> oh no, the night was fun, I guess. Oh God. Okay, look, this never happened. Do you understand me? You can't talk now. <laughs> so really? Myself, Still right? can't talk to me? What are you doing here? <gasps> what? Oh I my said, God, Leonard here? gonna see I Penny. I have paperwork that says differently. That's it. Oh my God, that's gonna. Who is now? Back to India. Irrelevant. <laughs> Rajesh and I have a good thing going, and you're not going to ruin it. <laughs> <gasps> and how are here? here? Every everybody gonna see it. Everybody gonna see it. Oh! That's it. Damn. <laughs> Everybody's here. What's Full on, on show. Oh. It's it's not what it looks like. <laughs> what does it look like? <laughs> oh god, that, that was too oh my god. I feel like Leonard is gonna be absolutely broken. Well guys, what a ending to season four. So much stuff happened. It's insane. So first we saw that Howard told his mom that he proposed to Bernadette. She didn't take it well. Well, it looked like she didn't take it well, but apparently it was the poison. Poor Bernadette thought that it was like her fault, you know, <laughs> she's gonna kill Howard's mom, but everything was completely different. She was so happy. She wanted to see Bernadette and said, oh, you're so good. It was so cute. So I feel like they're gonna get along and Howard's mom gonna, you know, fully like approve Bernadette and just be happy for both of them. It was so cute. And then the second that Priya and Leonard Leonard dating for I don't even know for how long they've been dating and I still could see that Leonard pressured Priya you know to tell her parents that they're dating and then what now she's gonna leave my god she probably wanted to tell Leonard like five minutes before her flight like Leonard I actually have to go to India and I'm not coming back but I don't know what they might do is it gonna be like a long distance or they just you know gonna and things like it's gonna be too hard for us if you're always gonna be you know in India and I'm gonna be here I don't know but this is insane Raj and Penny this is how we're gonna finish season four god that was disaster <laughs> I mean Lennon was totally broken anyway now he saw Penny coming out of the bedroom with Raj that's a lot to take but at the same time it's none of Leonard's business. They're not together. He's not even supposed to care what Penny's doing, who she's sleeping with. <laughs> Again, we get it because they have feelings. I said it a billion times and I said a billion times more, but it was 
crazy crazy ending for season four no wedding so hopefully it's gonna be sometimes you know in season five and yeah so this is it that was season four unbelievable just episodes gets better and better and better and i'm so here for it so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends and don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and i'll see you in season five bye guys